Baby girl, I really want to pull you on. T-shirt, she go pull up like a handbrake. You know, say everything, they ready, preset. You see my pull up, mmm. Game make you crazy, your booty beauty, full of. Hot body, but you know the girl is cool -o. You know me, I'm a king, so I rule -o. My vibe from the south, papi, chulo. Baby, make I talk true. I put your legs to the right. Hey, like my G, I, I how are you? Have a seat. Do this. What's good, guys? I go by the name DJ T Gods, and with me, I have the lovely Lacon. Hi, hello, T Gods. How are you today? Hello, DJ T Gods. <laughs> How are you today? I'm fine. I'm fine. And you? I'm good. Thank you. Thank you for asking. So first of all, I want to say a huge, huge, huge congratulations for Thank winning you very much. Big Brother Niger season five. It's no easy feat. So first of all, how does it feel to emerge winner? Because it's different going into the house and like hoping like, oh, maybe it will, maybe I won't. Yeah. But like coming out on top, how does that feel? First, I did not even go into the house. Hoping to win. Mm. Yeah, okay. Let me not use hoping because you hope to always get something of good. So I went into the house with just one mindset, promote your music. That's why, okay. to be honest, I was still explaining to somebody two days ago that the person told me that, oh, you're supposed to travel to Istanbul now. I was like, oh, yeah, is that part of the price? <laughs> then I said, yes. I was like, okay, see, the reason why I do not even know all these things is because in my head, I didn't even think about winning. Okay. So I just okay. went there to promote my music. But then coming out and then winning it, uh, it feels unreal. Mm. I mean, I still, I still haven't comprehended everything to the final detail because me, I like to always comprehend everything. Okay. But I still like feel some type of way every time I wake up and I'm like, wow. I guess so it's gonna take actually... it's gonna take a bit of getting to use yes. getting used to like walking down the street. People know yeah, who you are. People, can't you walk can't walk down the street. Can I you? Can't. you can't do? You can't go to. We went to Ogun State yesterday. It yeah. was it was totally different. I mean, <laughs> hey, <laughs> now nah, you don't. Want, but I feel grateful. I'm thankful. I'm happy. Mm. Uh, I mean, you went there for something and you came out with much more than you you expected exactly. so it's something awesome and i'm really really grateful for everybody to everybody that actually got me here okay that's perfect so you went into the house to push and promote your music yourself yes. as a rapper mm -hmm. you came out on top you also came out of the house to about two million cognitive streams yeah, I yeah. Think seven million. It's seven million now. Yeah. Wow. That was when I when I left the house. It, it was, was seven million. Wow. Okay. So, were you ever expecting to see numbers like that with your music? No, I wasn't. You weren't. So, how did you feel when you saw it? Because that's that's a huge number. Yeah. It's not like a hundred k. It's not one m. It's seven seven m. Yeah. So how did you feel about that? Uh, how did that make you feel? Like what no, was your was first reaction? I was very happy. I was very happy because that was my first goal. Mm. Try and make sure that people know. Because before I went into the house, I had 100K plus okay. streams. Less than 120K. Mm. What? Less than one, to be certain, less than 150K. Mm -hmm. But when I came out, so over 7 million streams. I'm like, wow. Okay. I felt very good. I felt very good because that means that they loved the music. Okay. That means that they went over there to listen on and on again. Because if you listen to something and it's not nice, you're not you gonna probably, go back. yeah, definitely. So I feel like that makes me understand that, okay, yeah, this music thing is actually great. I mean, the whole reason why you went into the house, you achieved it and then you got something extra. That's perfect. Okay, that's amazing. So what I, okay, I want to ask you this question, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you why I'm asking you this question after you give me the answer. Huh. I want to know who is Lacon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean there's a reason I'm asking. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up some receipts. Depending mm -hmm. on your answer, I'm gonna pull pull up some receipts. But no, regardless know, of my answer, pull out the receipts. Perfect. I like the regardless energy. Regardless of my answer, so pull out the who, receipts. Who is Lacon? Uh Lacon is a corporate guy. Lacon is a guardian a corporate, human. Body. Wait, hold on. A I mean, if you listen, guy. yeah, just listen. listen do you know? Do you know what I like about that? I feel like you saw the anger I was coming from, 
and you went down that road. <laughs> because the second thing you said is Lekon is a God, God in, in a, a human body. So because I've watched interviews, I've watched some of your interviews when you came out of the house and you come across like very sweet, very humble. Sometimes you actually come across shy. And when I listen to your music, you drop bars like, you know, Lekon is a God in a human body, things <laughs> like that. So is it like you are hyping yourself or is it an alter ego? Like, you know how Beyonce has Sasha Fierce? Or is this just like another side to you that we have yet to see? Yeah, like I said, I said I'm an open book mm -hmm. with blank pages. I said that. Uh, I mean, for, for the music, when I say things like, I am a God in a human body. Mm -hmm. It's me. It's a sort of conviction for me. Okay. Like me telling myself, this is who you are. So Don't... almost an affirmation. Yes. Like no one can tell you nothing. Yeah, this is exactly. Who you are. Okay. That, 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 uh, that kind of shapes the way your thought process mm. moving forward in relation with anybody else. Okay. It shapes it. Because a God would not... Would not meddle with the affairs of men exactly like, you don't play so, with little things that don't concern yeah, you yeah exactly so when people say things that you know are not really it any rolls of you, off yeah your exactly and if you have that kind of attitude towards everything mm. almost everything you will not get bothered by unnecessary things you only that's get bothered true. by things that are necessary that's so that's true. that's that sort of mindset so that it's like you're like reminding yourself that this is who I am. This is my truth and I stand by it. So Legit. no one can shake you. Legit. Okay, I exactly. like it. Energy come through. Yeah. Right. Well, didn't you drop in the receipts? No. Yeah. No, no, no. To be honest, it wasn't a receipt because I thought you were going to say something like, oh, I'm just, you know, shy this. this, this <laughs> I mean, ba so I basically like... answered every question that anybody could have about Lacon inside the EP, who is Lacon. Mm. Yeah, and the first track, you like get the different sides of Lacon because when I'm, I'm a god in a human body, like one, I'm a, I'm a corporate mm -hmm. guy like I'm um, a guy for the girls them like one mm -hmm. I'm a nice guy like one I'm a bad guy so everything mm -hmm. is all in the track okay so do you know one thing I liked about your EP I believed you on every track so there's some rappers that it's like mm, yeah it sounds nice but this talk you're talking it's not believable I don't really believe it so um, what was the inspiration behind your EP like, what pushed you to drop that kind of music? Oh, well, uh, the first, if you go, um, my project, my mm -hmm. projects kind of connect. Okay. So I put out an EP in 2016, Young Black and Gifted. Mm -hmm. The EP ended with These Days Will Blow. Okay. So moving forward to 2019, I put out Fierce and the song blew up. Mm -hmm. People knew the song, but okay, they didn't nice. know who I was. Who so are. it got to a point where I, I go for shows and they're like, Oh, Lacon, welcome Lacon on stage. And everybody are like, who's this? Then the song starts playing and people start singing the song. But so they don't that, know. The, the, so at that point, the song was bigger than yeah, you. Yeah, definitely. Okay, song fair. was. It was on MTV for six months. That top 10 chart okay, for six months. Wow, so, okay. But the guy that sang the song, nobody, nobody really gave anything about me. So I just decided to do an EP that follows that up. Because while going through this process, there was still that... Uh, are you just going to continue this kind of music or you're going to do this mm. other kind of music or you're a rapper. So you know that kind of thing that comes with questions that come with being a rapper. But So I just decided to put everything into that who is Lincoln and answer the questions like, uh, who am I really? Mm. This is who I am. Who do I want to be? Who can I be? Okay. While also being this kind of person. Okay. So I just put everything all together into who is Lincoln. Nice. So that's right. Okay. So obviously BBN has propelled you into the limelight. Mm -hmm. Um so how are you dealing with the pressure? First of all, do you even feel any like new pressure with the level of visibility you now have? I wouldn't say it's pressure. Mm. It's something that I've always known. It's just I didn't see it coming this way. Okay. I mean, for some of these things that are happening now, I felt like I've prepared myself for it mentally. Mm -hmm. But I just didn't see it. You didn't see it connecting like this? Yeah. I, I thought I, I thought it, it would was be a to gradual. Be, yeah, but then now it's just <laughs> very... Yeah. And I do this and not this. Because mm -hmm. you see, if I do I this... Saw, I saw that, yeah. It's You're going forward while rising at the mm -hmm. same time. But if... Ah, what goes up has risky. to come down yeah, yeah so this way is better mm. so 
I feel like I've really grown without even understanding that I've grown until it got to the point where I needed to show my growth. Okay. And now this is that point where I need to show my growth. But growth is continuous. Mm -hmm. And for this, I don't feel any pressure because it's still, as an artist, it's the same thing. You're just going to do it on a larger scale. You need to be much more hardworking. If you were 100% hardworking before, you need to do like 200% now. Because now the people that you're looking up to are not the people you're looking up to. You're like there with them now, looking, looking beside at you. them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you need to actually work as hard as they do or much more than they do. And then you also realize that now people are looking up to me. Mm. So you need to also try and make sure that you portray yourself in the right way. Okay. Like use your light to shed light, shed light to light other on people. Others. Okay. Beautiful. I love that answer. Um, now I want to talk to you about your style of music. How would you describe yourself as a rapper? Like, yeah, how would you describe yourself as a rapper? Like, you know, we have... Olamide is a rapper. He's an indigenous rapper. We've mm -hmm. got like Afro hip hop flows like Laddie Po. Like, how would you describe yourself as a rapper? Yeah, I I coined the name for it actually. Okay. For it's an Afro rap. Okay. There's no, I I did not see any category, <laughs> but it's Afro rap basically. I I can be an intellectual rapper when I want to be. I yes. can be a deep rapper when I want to be. I can also give you cruise. You can when, be ignorant as well. Yeah. Love so it. I'm 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 versatile like that. Mm -hmm. But still, I still try to make it. Truth is, the most important thing is you have to make it relatable. People have to connect to it immediately. They listen to your mm -hmm. music. They need to be able to say from the angle that is coming. I haven't experienced it, but I can't but I imagine. I can't yeah. exactly. That's the most important thing with me, with my rap. Like, so if I'm giving you mad intellectual rap, it has to be something you connect to. If I'm giving you the vibe, the cruise rap, it has to be something, something you, you connect, connect to, to, basically. Okay, that's fat. So talk to me about your start in music. I feel like not everybody is like me. I woke up one day and I said, yeah, great. I don't want to work a nine to five. Then they sacked me. Then I came to next. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you. Wait, um, it wasn't like you realized. No, I was Somebody planning, no, heard your thoughts. Like, I, I swear, think this person is going to leave. Suck her. Long, long story short, <laughs> long story short, my dad told me, you're not happy in the job, leave. I said, no, dad, I'm going to make you proud and I'm going to use my degree in a job. And then they called like three days after I told my dad that they called my entire team into um, like a meeting with HR. And they said, thanks for your service. Bye. <laughs> See, and you don't think something something it was it was good it was time for me to leave um <laughs> and i literally walked to my desk booked a one-way ticket to nigeria and here we are nice so i don't feel everybody is as erratic as me when it comes to decision making mm -hmm. of going into entertainment but how did you get your start in music like what was the deciding factor for you to actually make music your career Ah, okay, to make it a career. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can always do it for a hobby, I mean, but honestly, there's a transition. Honestly, I can't even remember when, because I've always been saying I want to be an artist. I want Since to you be... were little? Yes. And then it got to a point where my dad was like, you have to be an engineer. And my mom was like, you have to be a lawyer. So I, went I mean, to as, per, yeah. as per Nigerian parents, exactly. it would be wrong so if I, they but didn't. But then I, I kind of conned both of them okay. with the lawyer thing yeah I can't both of them because my dad said when I was about to get to uh, SS1 my dad said okay. go to science department mm -hmm. uh, applied science mm -hmm. more specifically because that's where engineers engineering is it so yeah after SS1 I discovered I did not enjoy that thing at all okay. I mean I was a B student mm -hmm. then in school but it was not fun for okay. me I was just reading to pass and it was really I just have a headache every time I'm trying to study so I told my mom, see, I want to be a lawyer. <laughs> but knowing if I go to art class, that's oh my music. God, that's and it, music. I just yeah. told her, I want to be a lawyer. See, tell your husband. Just, just convince him. Me. Exactly. Help me now. So I switched. Knowing it was obviously music. I started music professionally in 2012. But when, see, the point where I felt like there's no going back from mm -hmm. here was 20, 2009, I remember. Okay. 2009. Because I'm a very, I know how to play football. 
Okay. I don't know if I know how to play it well as much as I used to okay. know how to play it in 2009. But I got to a point, my, my, my other brother had a friend who was an agent. Mm -hmm. So he said, do a video, I'll send it to West Ham. That's oh, wow. Club, okay. You know? Do a video, I'll send it to West Ham. So if they see it, they call you for a trial. I will just talk to them. They will definitely call you for a trial because I've seen you. Mm -hmm. So he said, do the video. That was when I had to choose between football and music. music. So I chose music. Wow. My brothers were leave it because 2009, see how much John Mikel Obi was making. So they were like, ah, <laughs> this guy goes into football. So I, I think it was at that point that I, I knew no going back. It had, okay. to, it, it had to work out. That's incredible. I mean, if you didn't choose music, you could have been playing for like yeah, a I Man U yeah, or an definitely. Arsenal. Yeah. Who's your favourite? What's Tottenham, your favourite? Tottenham, actually. Tot Tottenham? Because I, I, I support a coach. I support Mourinho. Tottenham? Yeah, That's so Mourinho is, Yeah, because I support the, their coach, not the club itself. If he leaves, I'm living with him. That's how I am. Are you serious? Yes. So you're there for the coach? Yeah, you I was really at Chelsea at the... one point. I was at Man U at one point. I was at Madrid at one point. So I'm travelling with him like that. Wow. That's, I mean, that's that's a that's the type of support. Yeah, that's, that's loyalty a loyalty type... to somebody. <laughs> that's true. Um, so what would you say your influences are when it comes to music? Like what kind of, what influences you as in your day-to-day -day and then like, sounds like what other artists influence the type uh, of music when it comes to sounds anybody really mm. anybody really because truth is like i said growth is continuous and you have to just keep adapting mm. evolving and evolution is not when you pick from one particular thing and you just stay with, stick with that particular thing no. but when it comes to content i listen to people like nina simone okay james brown those are like those two people, I never use their music to play. Like okay. especially Nina Simone. Okay. And then there, what is Redding? Oh, I love. Yes, love. So people like yeah. that, those are the people I go to for content. Jay Z is obviously mm -hmm. content, but when it comes to the music, the sound, the the vibe, mm -hmm. the melodies, you go I, back. I am just soulful music everywhere. What's your favorite Nina Simone song? Blood on the leaves. Okay. 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 That's okay. not even wait. Blood on the leaves. Yes. Okay. You know so, the song. Yes, I do. I love Nina Simone. I love old school music. Old school old school music. I think it has not even old school, because when you say old school, you now think about like hip hop and things like that. Uh, yeah. But soul. Yeah. Rhythm. Nina, and Nina blues. Simone basically love was it. like fighting all racism yeah. then so most of her songs kind of go in line with that song and then there's this her cinnamon cinnamon is also an awesome song and i love this tone in her voice as well you can hear it's almost like you said um the fighting of like you know racial yeah. justice but you can almost it's almost as if you can hear the pain in her voice exactly i love the tone and the of anger. her voice yes exactly so let's talk about new music right um I saw a video of you, like, is it a couple of weeks now, a week or so ago of you, with Neptune, DJ Neptune. And Jojo. And Joe Boy. <laughs> <laughs> and we got an Icons remix yeah. to Nobody. Tell me how that came about. Okay, so the night I won, mm -hmm. that was a Sunday. Yeah. I got to my hotel room and I think I came out, I wanted to go to somebody's room was okay. it Neo's room or someone mm. and he like, like stepped out I just saw DJ Neptune I'm like okay. ah boss you know he was the one that played yeah, on stage of course, I just yeah. greeted him and I'm like ah nobody nobody's song I love the song he also said some things he said things mm -hmm. and I'm like ah, let's do it we, wa we want to know what things he said no, what I did he remember, say I can't remember vividly we, but we, we said things okay and now you have his song so the next day <laughs> the next day <laughs> The next day was a Monday. Mm -hmm. no, I recorded on Tuesday. I recorded the verse on Tuesday. That so you first, got out on it. Sunday. That was the first thing I wrote when when music, after I left the house, the first thing I wrote was that first verse. That is actually something I'm really curious about. So obviously there were challenges in the house where you like made up some songs and things mm -hmm. like that. But how were you writing in the house? Like, no, no. How did that make you feel? I felt very awful. You felt bad. Yeah, and I missed it a lot. And I felt like, hey, 
It's not easy to explain. But you know, when you do something so much, mm -hmm. it becomes then, a part yeah, of you. And then you get to a space where you're not even allowed to do it. Mm -hmm. Man. But I it found would... sanity in doing other things and engaging myself with people and then learning mm -hmm. because the task, you have to learn other things that you're not used to. So Okay. Okay. So going back to nobody, right? How does it feel to be on such like I would say the song is iconic for now because it, it has like so like it has so much traction to it. Like I have never met a person that doesn't actually like that song. So how does it feel to be on the remix to such a dope song? Like literally I feel coming honored. out of it. I feel honored because I love the song. Mm. I love the Jeanette tune. I respect him. I feel. I think he's a legend. Mm -hmm. uh, for Jojo, mm -hmm. ah, Jojo is my guy. So I'm like, my friend on the song with me. Mm -hmm. and, ah, let's do it. <laughs> it had to be done. Okay. I feel very honored. I feel very happy that I'm on that kind of song because that song is one of the biggest songs this year. It is, yeah. Nobody itself. I mean, so shout out to DJ Neptune, shout out to Joe Boy. I mean, it was really awesome working with the, them on the mm. song and it was fun. Okay. So how are you finding a balance between work and life now? Obviously, apart from like, things you're doing because of Big Brother, you're still pursuing your music. So how are you balancing like your personal life and your work life since coming out of the BBN house? I mean, personal life. Mm -hmm. You don't have a personal life again? I do, definitely. Okay. I have friends. Okay. I have uh, people I care about and I have people I love. Okay. And do you know, you want to know the crazy thing? Most of all these people are in my team. Okay. Nice. So, Work and personal is kind of connected. Now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, for personal, really, I haven't. I have clarity about everything except my emotional side, because mm -hmm. I feel like the most important thing for me right now is to make sure that this all amounts to something bigger than me, bigger mm -hmm. than myself, big enough to uh, influence everybody else positively. Okay. So that's what I'm pushing for. That's my only goal right now. Mm -hmm. So for every other thing on the side. To the side. So for work, which is actually every, the most important thing, mm -hmm. that's how it is. So personal for me is work. Work okay. for me is personal. Okay. That's it. Okay. So we are going to play, well, I wouldn't say play, but we're going to play a game of three. So, the three producers you would want to work with? That I've not worked with already? Yes. Or if you want to work with them again. Yeah, okay. I mean, I would love to work with every... Honestly, see, they are producers. You have to pick three. Yeah. There are people where they produce in this country. Pick three. They are like dope-ass producers, producers everywhere. I mean... Pick three. Saz. Okay. Don Jazzy. Okay. Does it have to be Nigerian? It doesn't have to be Nigerian. Eh, if it doesn't have to be Nigerian, can I scratch that? Okay, let's do three Nigerian producers and then three international producers. You're giving yourself more work, but that's fine. It's, no, it's not work. It's, Go for it's it. something I've thought about very well. Okay, so Sars, Don Jazzy, Saz. Don Jazzy. Hey. Huh. <laughs> well, ah. It's not like the last person I will not be able to work with any exactly. other person again. Sars, Don Jazzy. I would love to work with. Um, mm. See, names just keep popping to my head. Like, okay, I would love to work with Sars, Don Jazzy, Mastercraft. Mastercraft, okay. Brilliant. Outside the country. Yep. Timberland. Mm -hmm. Swiss Beats. Mm -hmm. Josh Blaze. Okay. I pegged you as more of a like Scott Storch type of feel. See, the truth is this. Eh? Mm -hmm. I can work with anybody. <laughs> but see, off the top of my head, these are the people that I okay. would call their names okay. anytime. So, three Nigerian artists you'd like to collaborate with? I, I see. That one. I Joe Boy and Neptune, they've already, you've already I'll done not, that. So, that's nah, fine. Not called. so, three artists you'd like. These are not the three artists you're saying. You just want to collaborate with them. So yeah, I would artists. love to collaborate with 
everybody really. But if I'm to call names, yes, I would love to please. collaborate with Joe Boy. Again. Okay. DJ Neptune. Again. again. Yusuf Kombai. Again. Fab. Okay. I like the diplomacy in that answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, and three international artists you'd like to collaborate with. Please give me Jiga. Uh, Please give me Drake. <laughs> Please give ah oh it's too much it's too much <laughs> about Jay Z Drake. Mm -hmm. Can you bring Nina Simone back? It's and not then possible. you can. I mean, you can sample. Yeah, sample. Yeah, that that's possible, but it's not feature. <laughs> I can like I need that energy. You to need be that in energy. The studio with Nina Simone <laughs> and watch her do do things and like. But yeah, I mean. Damien Marley. Okay. Coffee. See, there, there are many there people. There are many people, I'm sure. And I'm sure. So, I just want to say thank you so much for well, coming in. Yes. Oh, oh what, this do you, has been fun. Do I you want to chat to some more? Yeah, if you have questions. But so, okay. I could ask questions. Go for it. <laughs> Go on. No. Let's do it. Um, okay. So, thank you so much for chatting with me. Thank you very much I've had for fun. Um, this has been... Like, I really enjoyed this interview. I'm glad we got to see the artist side of you because I'm sure you've been to a lot of interviews and it's just talking about what went on. Thank so you very I much. hope you enjoyed it as yeah, much as I, I have. Yeah, I do. I do. I mean, I didn't even know it was going to be this short because mm -hmm. I thought you were going to ask more questions. Go oh, Next but time. It's been fun. It's been very, very fun. And you said next time. So I'm next looking forward time. to Don't it. Next Don't worry. Time. When we drop when you drop your next project, you'll be back here talking to 100%. me. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Thank you so much. Thank you very this much has for having been, me. Thank you. This has been DJ T Garbs for Cloud Africa. And we're signing out. Cloud. 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 Cloud.